In today's video, I am going to share with you some of the tips which are going to help you grow as a junior UI and UX designer. So if you are a UI UX designer and in the start of your career, you have to do these four or five things to make sure that you grow as a senior designer or a senior senior uh, UI UX designer or product designer. So let's get started. I'm going to give you some of the tips. So number one is that uh, if you are learning UI UX design, you have to keep yourself updated with whatever the updates are coming in design tools, uh, new design uh, methodologies or new design things or patterns that you uh, designers are actually following. So uh, keep yourself with the design, new design patterns, new design tools, what is upcoming, what are the new technologies coming, are there any new features that have been introduced in any UI design tool uh, you are trying to master. So first thing is keep yourself updated. Now the second one is that learn by watching others. So this is the best approach if you are purchasing some courses, try to purchase three or four different designers and see how they actually approach a design or how they start designing. Okay. So most of the courses, most of the design uh, video tutorials you see, they are not going to tell you their design approach, but they just start their design. So I have two or three courses that are actually uh, about this topic, about design decisions, uh, how you are going to approach a design, uh, how you are going to actually decide on different feedbacks you get from your clients, how to copy from ins uh, your inspiration. So these sort of things I'm going to uh, share with you. The links are in the description below, so you can check those out. Uh, so these are the courses about your uh, design decisions, inspirations and all that stuff. So this is uh, the stuff that a lot of designers don't, don't talk about, how they actually approach a design. In fact, uh, I saw a very experienced illustrator uh, on uh, Adobe Max. They were drawing some live illustrations, very great illustrations. But I was surprised to see that they had opened a reference, uh, reference illustration with them. So you can say their inspiration from where they were picking different techniques, different color or styles from that. They were not copying it but they were using that uh, in the live session. So that is a thing you have to always, uh, you can say, uh, solder in your mind. You have to fix that in your mind that you need always start with an inspiration. I have other videos about that. So the third one is that learn by copying others, copy the designs of other designers. So you have to, uh, you know, uh, whenever uh, I have seen the classes of uh, um, different painters, when they start painting, they learn by copying other paintings, uh, famous paintings. So what they do is uh, they try to do the painting of uh, some old painters or some other techniques. They try to learn this, just try to copy those colors, those styles and everything. So this is another way. You have to learn by copying the designs of others. You have to replicate that. You have to build your ability and skills that you can create a design, which is something like that. So this is another technique. And uh, the last one I'm going to share with you is your process. And uh, process is very, very important. In fact, I have two different courses that are almost like eight or nine hours uh, in video length that are about the process. So you have to keep, make sure that you have to make your process, learn it, improve it. It is going to help you in your professional career a lot. Uh, okay, so the last one, which I, I skipped actually, I have written them over here. So one is that whenever you are building your UX portfolio, a lot of my students, they actually ask me, and when you are a junior UI UX designer, and you are confused about it, which is, why and how should I build my UX design portfolio? Uh, now the answer is that always try to solve a single problem in an app. People are looking for the processes and your design decisions rather than what 
qualities or features of your design or what is the pop effect of your design or how beautiful or amazing your design is they are not going to look for the experienced designers they are going to look for the process and your approach and how you have solved that user experience problem or user's problem uh, with the design so these are all my tips if you like them make sure you subscribe this to this channel and make sure you share these videos i uh, i have posted a lot of user experience design um, videos for beginners so make sure you subscribe and share these videos till then i will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye